This is part two of talking with Neil. Uh, some of this is just really gonna cover a lot of vlogging topics um, and some advice I have on kind of the workflow I have of just filming this YouTube channel. Reach your destination by 1.42 p.m. You're like a Ferris wheel circling around Off in an open field, firm in the ground Lost in the wilderness, not to be found Give me your hand and I won't let you down In a place I've never been To find a way of wandering Will you take my hand Or will you just keep spinning Ah, uh, Garrison, that is incredibly nice. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, thanks, Garrison. Everybody go follow Garrison on Twitter. Really appreciate the gift. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's awesome. Well, you have to, like, you know, you gotta make I gotta an entry. Come in, yeah, go. so You talked about getting started, and that's where I live. Like, that's my zone. I, I'm the one who's focused on the people who are trying to figure out how to break in and take that first step. Right. Right? And then it's ironic because I'm trying to, you know, do videos myself and here I am like like hesitating to hit the enter, you know, to upload the video or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to startups and like having an idea and trying to figure out whether you've got what it takes, I think the the biggest thing is your why. You know? Like answering like what's your why? Why why are you doing this? Yeah. What's it what are you going into it for? And knowing that. And yeah. it could be anything. It could be I wanna make money, it could be I wanna be my own boss, it could be well, I wanna help this specific person in this situation, or anything across that spectrum. But having that um, like knowing that for yourself is I think the first step. And you're not gonna have full confidence in it, but like that is probably the one thing I would say is the most important is just having that basis of, I know why I'm getting into this. And you can do that if you read like a book like Rework, you know, you don't you don't have to go all in, you know, you can work on it on the side, chip away at something. But uh, combining that why with something like jobs to be done theory really allows you to ground yourself in the truth of whether someone's actually going to buy what you could sell. But at the same time, you having the comfort that you're working on something you could actually find meaning and passion in. And that is the ultimate currency that I've observed uh, among like the most successful, uh, what I like to call starters, people who are starting businesses, um, have done. Yeah. So that's I, I think like a very important totally. aspect to it. Totally. Dude. I have found um, doing these daily videos in many ways is easier than doing. So I was trying to do it like once a week before. Yeah. And it was like I didn't have any hard deadline of like once a week. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing daily, and and daily has its challenges, believe me. But one of the things that like opened up to me doing daily is the fact that I have less footage now to have to edit with every yeah. single day. You are staring at a fucking pile it's of huge. good stuff and shit, right? Yeah, like, so it's, much stuff. It's so much stuff. Like I, I would, just, I was staring at like a week of stuff, right? I'd take the camera around like you're doing with mm -hmm. the with the GoPro, mm -hmm. and I'm filming conversations like this. I'm filming cool stuff around the city. Good luck. I mean. It's doable. I did it. You, you're going to do it. You can do it. But now, good luck trying to, like, you have so much stuff. Good luck trying to just create one story yeah. out of that. So this has been nice because it's like every day I only have this tinier amount of stuff. And sometimes it's shit and, I, and it's like, oh, my God, I don't have enough stuff. And now, now I'm feeling like I've got to, like, contrive something together. But it's more doable than me staring at hours and hours and hours and hours of footage. Right, it's a different beast. So like what I was trying to model that process off of was um, when I was starting my, my original school, Code Academy, we, uh, I blogged for 100 weeks straight. Every week. Oh, wow. Every Sunday morning. It yeah, was yeah. like church for me. I'm yeah. not even religious, but I was like, yeah. that was my church. Was right. Sunday morning, I'd get up and blog and write about totally. my week or whatever. Totally. And I did that. And I have all those blog posts. And... Uh, I thought, okay, well, maybe I can do that, except it, now it's with video. doable. Right. Right? Yeah. But, but you're totally right. I hit this wall where after a week, I had so many moments and so much footage. When I put it together, I need to figure out how to be better at editing, too. But it was like 30 minutes worth yeah. of stuff. And I was like, how do I cut this up? And how do I break it down into something four or five minutes? And I was like, wait a second. What's my message? What's my story? What do I want to say? There's so many different insights this week. I've got to pick one. Yeah. So... Anyway, I'm trying to figure out how to take that leap. Yeah. And uh, the other challenge is I have a, a new MacBook, totally souped up, maxed out. Yeah. But it can't handle the 
the video quality that I'm working with. Really? Yeah, 2.7K, 60 frames per second. It just oh. kind of slogs through it. In iMovie or what? It's iMovie. All right. So maybe I need to get... I assume... I, I use iMovie, but maybe Final Cut. Maybe would... Final Cut will do the job. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Maybe or I can Adobe try it out. Or Adobe Premiere. Probably. Yeah, I'll have to try that. So Neither of those two seem to be the thing everybody... But sharing. Sharing, man. Like, the fact that you share on a daily basis is so powerful, and it's... Like, anyway, I just... I admire it, and I wanted cool. to know, Thanks, like, dude. yeah, what what went into that. So, so another thing I've picked up, and maybe, so I I've been taking this class called it's called I think Inside the Edit, and you might it, it might like unlock some thoughts for you. What, one of the things that I feel like is a kind of interesting, and you just you I think you hit upon it is like what's the message? So one of the things I do with this now is like I'll review my footage from the day before, and I'll just kind of like look at it, and I'll go through the clips, and I'll be like, what did I do yesterday? Like. You know, I talked to Neil, or, you know, I took this trip to base camp. I saw, you know, Ann. I, you know, did this thing with High Rise. And, like, I'll try to find, like, what is the most important part mm. of that? It's probably not all of it. Right. Maybe it's some of distill it. Distill it. Yeah. And so then I'll interview myself. I'll just sit in front of the camera, and I'll talk, and I'll try and bang out, like, you know. I don't really try to, like, force it, but it, it, I don't know. It usually ends up between, like three minutes to five minutes to six minutes of just me talking and then I'll of that about that footage and then I will cut that interview and basically then paint a picture on top of that interview of the things that happened. Oh, got it. So you do the interview and then you kind of lace in all the footage yes. from the day into yeah. that interview. So you use your interview of yourself as the skeleton. Yeah. So like I think you like that's how I feel like you would make it more manageable for yourself if if you have this problem. But it's that's like great. you talk, you know, come up with the message, you know, review all that footage. You have, maybe not all of it, what you thought. I mean, you probably have this memory of what was good. Yeah. And then just be like talk to the camera now for like 3 minutes, 5 minutes about what it was and then put that on your timeline and now go back and get the footage and put it on top, Holy shit. splice yeah. it in. Okay. And it's easier. That's what I started doing and inside the edit, that's what he does with, you'll start to see. What that is that, that class? It's, I don't even know how I found inside this Inside the edit. Inside it's the edit. online class? It's an online class. Um, it's like, it's, it's kind of like about documentary filmmaking. Hmm. And so it's, it was like, and then you start to see, like, wait a minute, that is how documentaries are filmed. They, like, interview, you know, like, hey, I'm, I'm filming the documentary. I'm going to interview you. I'm just going to stand here and ask you some questions. And then I'm going to go follow you around with a camera. And if you watch the documentary, a lot of it is just like that. It's like, wait a minute. I'm, like, seeing your life. You're talking about an important, you know, arc of something that happened in your life. And then I'm just seeing, like, clips of video around your life. And it's just like, oh, shit, that is how they do documentaries. Yeah. So, Yeah. Wow, and then I guess my final question on this, because then we can talk about plenty yeah. of things, is uh, like you are you cut in like your life, right? Yeah. You have your 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 daughter yep. and like your your whole family life. Like there's this interesting kind of weaving of like high rise and business concepts along with like just like your your life and what you're going through and what you're doing. So like was that like a decision you made going in? Was that something that just kind of happened organically? Like what's the what was the idea behind like com like creating that combination? Yeah, I don't know. I, I it's like I think it's really cool. It's unique. Thanks. I I don't I don't totally know. It, it's just maybe something that evolved and maybe I mean there there were thoughts that went into it, but it's like I, I won't say like I had this like moment where I'm just like oh my god I have to do it this way. I mean I feel like it just evolved. Like yeah. you look at those first videos, it's just me talking about. You know, I the first videos I did were me taking a blog post I wrote mm -hmm. and speaking it, and that was yeah. it. It was just kind of boring. I'm not boring. I, a lot of people liked it, but it was like I I basically was just repurposing what I've already written and turned it into a video. Yeah. Well, then it was like to me that was boring. To me, that doesn't take advantage of like video, right? It doesn't take advantage of like this should be a visual thing, not just me being a talking yeah, head. Yeah. Yeah. So then it was like, okay, well, then it was like, what are the case, what, who's doing this well? And then I bump into the Casey Neistats and, and other people, and they're filming themselves going to the beach and, you know, filming themselves traveling and, and filming them. And then Casey was filming himself with his baby and his wife. And, and I was just like, wait, oh, that's interesting. I could do more of that. Hmm. So it was like, it, it just kind of evolved to just be like, well, I should just include the like everything because people have an appetite for it, it yeah. seems. they watch casey's the fastest growing youtuber in the last two years or something yep. like that so it was just like it works for him maybe maybe people are interested in that side of it and then it's just it's just kind of evolved so like i send out newsletters at high rise and i talk about my 
family. I, I send out a welcome email to new customers and I tell them like how my weekend was with my kid. We went to Disney on Ice and people have been receptive of it. Like yeah. there's been a couple of people who are just like, why do you send me this thing about your child? And just of like, yeah, I, yeah, I get course. it. I get it. You want me to be this ro robot and everything to be like a lawyer sent it. But like, that's not us. I want the connection with the customers more than I want this like rigid professional I don't yeah, know. no, so. it makes you human. It, it shows that you're, I mean, it almost seems like it's a, it feels like a family owned business in a way. Like, right. I don't know how to put it, but yeah. like, it's cool because like, it's relatable. Yeah. And you know, your customers are, you're among them, you know, you're not some on some other tier where everyone's just kind of right. somewhere else using your product and paying you money. It's like, no, we're, we're all in this together. So yeah. I think that vibe is very empowering for the right people. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's, I don't know. And that's, that's what. I, I, so I, I like the benefit of it more than mm. I care about the risk. Like there's right. going to be some people who are just kind of turned off by it. Yeah. They're going to be like, well, I don't care about your family. Stop talking about this. And that, I, that's a legit complaint. But, um, I like, I want to connect with our customers on that level. Like I would like to know more about our customers' lives and families. Somebody emailed me the other day about like what their like raising a family has been like. And it's like, I love it. That, yeah. Those are the kind of emails I want. When, so, like, please, I want when, I want that connection on that. When I first watched your videos, I was like, oh, this is weird. Like, I was like, oh, this is, you know, I was like, man, like, I'm all in his stuff. Like, I felt like I was all in his business, and I was like, what is he doing? Like, what is he trying to do here? And then they kept coming out, and I kept watching them, and I was like, this is actually really helpful. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, that's awesome. All right, I'm waiting. I've been taking Lyft. Um, maybe I should, like... Maybe I should say like these vlog posts are gonna be sponsored by Lyft and I should have like a segment where at least once a week I like travel somewhere on a Lyft. I don't know, I have free rides, right? I think I can provide a code, maybe I should provide a code and if enough people use that code for Lyft, I think I get free Lyft so maybe technically this can be kind of like sponsored by Lyft, I don't know. Lyft, I think maybe this is a, maybe we should form a relationship for this channel. This wasn't really much of an interview with Neil. It was very one-sided, um, these last bits, I think, of just me talking. Uh, Neil wanted, you know, he wants to start a YouTube channel and I encourage it, and so I had some advice about it. But in the future, I'd like to have more of these interviews and I will have Neil back because he's got a lot of insight and I'd actually like to ask him a lot more questions than I did here. Can I help? No, 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 I'm lifting. Like, no. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking a lift back home. Oh, I, what um, is this? Oh, I just needed some sort of tripod while I talk to the camera while I wait okay, for... Okay, I'll get out of here. No, like... there's no, there's really no nothing happening. This is just like a chill, like... But, so you're coming down, you get your lift, and you're like, you know what, let me just shoot something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, I need to, like, I need to follow you around one day. See, this is, this is what you, so because, like, you, you, so if you film, if you, what you're doing now might actually be, like, Right, you've got so much footage that you don't have to worry about this. Right, right. But if you do want to get to the point of like daily shit, you have to find yourself filming like just in weird, random spots. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And this might not even make it, right? But but or, yeah. just in, yeah, you just have to get into that practice, get those reps in, and you never know yes. what a good shot would be. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, good to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Good course, to see you. Of course. Have a good one. Later. And if you dig these videos, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're new here. I upload a new video every single day talking about business and marketing and product design, even making YouTube videos. And I will see you again tomorrow, everybody. Bye. Wait, is this a point? What is this? What is this?